Hi, I'm Akhil. I did TEFL course a few years back. Before doing TEFL, I had a lot of questions regarding TEFL slash TESOR course. And later, I figured out many other people also have similar doubts and questions regarding TEFL course. Are you one among them? Are you planning to enroll for a TEFL or TESOL program? Then this video is for you. So without any delay, let's get started. All you need to know about TEFL course before you enroll for it. Let's go to the first question. Is TEFL and TESOL the same course? The answer is yes. If you are in an English speaking country, this course is most widely called as TESOL. But if you live in a non-English speaking country, then the same course is popularly known as TEFL. Going to our second question, who should do TEFL or TESOL course? Those who are planning to apply for teaching jobs abroad, those who want to learn methods and techniques for teaching a language, those who want to change their career to language teaching, those who want to have one more feather in their cap. Going to our third question, who should not enroll for a TEFL or TESOL course? Before answering this question, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel. Let's discuss the answer. Those who think TEFL or TESOL course will land them directly in a well-paid job, don't enroll for the course. Those who think that you will get a job abroad right after this course, please don't enroll. Those who are not fluent in English, please don't enroll for the course. Those who think that they can learn English during the TEFL or TESOL course, it's not for learning English. Instead, you learn the teaching methods. Our next question is a very popular question. What is CELTA? CELTA is also a TEFL or TESOL course. CELTA is the most expensive TEFL or TESOL course because of the brand Cambridge. Of course, CELTA is also the most popular TEFL course. But if you are low on budget, then you can enroll other TEFL or TESOL courses from different institutes. Our last question in this video is what you should do before enrolling for any TEFL or TESOL course. Check accreditation. Check whether or not the institute gives at least 120 hours of training and practice. Check which countries accept this particular institute's TEFL or TESOL certificate. Check with that institute's alumni about how the course was, about the acceptance of the certificate and how they benefited. Now you know very important information about TEFL or TESOL courses. You can decide for yourself which institute you want to join to do your TEFL course. And for those who have already done their TEFL, you can let us know in the comment section below which institute have you chosen and how was your experience with that specific institute and how you have benefited so that it will be helpful for those who are planning to do their TEFL course in the coming future. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you in my next video. This is Akil signing off.